Are you joining me in the Maldives? Hi, my name is Joel Solomon, and here's your Money Miracles video for the week of September 12th. Happy birthday, Mom, on September 12th. Uh, congratulations, 87 years old. Crazy, awesome. So actually, I'm not inviting you to the Maldives yet. Uh, we'll be going next year, 2024, but I am inviting you to join me on a nine-week journey towards financial freedom. See, starting next Tuesday, September 19th, and continuing for another eight weeks, Chara Rodriguez, who's a mystical, magical meditation teacher, and I are going to be sharing with you all nine of the nine money rules millionaires use those, though these are only the unconventional ones from my bestseller, the nine money rules millionaires use. If you don't know Chara, again, she's a mystical, magical meditation teacher, creative soul path yoga, two amazing poem books. She's also the creator of the Dream Life program. And she and I have created this course and we're basically giving it away. It's only $11 a week, $99 for all nine weeks. The link is below this video and in the email. And I urge you to sign up because it will fill up. We're only having a limited number of people so that it can be really interactive and you can get the most out of it. So let's continue with more recent and upcoming events. Tonight, September 12th, Sharon and I are doing an absolutely free webinar, an introduction to the Nine Money Rules Millionaires Use course on September 12th. Sign up, closes in just a couple of hours. So uh, the link is also below this video and in the email. And tomorrow, my stock picking series on the Rich Mind podcast with Randy Wilson continues with episode five. I explain stock picking. We're getting into technical and fundamental analysis. And the link to go to tomorrow, September 13th, is also below this video. And if you missed last week's episode, you can find it below this video and in the email. And I'm really excited uh, to announce that my interview on the Global Wellness Podcast interview with uh, Jeff Borchawa went live last week. This was definitely one of my top five interviews. Jeff dived into the most unconventional of the Nine Money Rules Millionaires Use. And the link also is below this video and in the email. And next week, I'm going to be interviewed by Matt Levenhagen on his Builders podcast. I'll let you know when that goes live. That's mostly in October. And finally, I'm speaking at not one, but two upcoming summits, one in two weeks with Jules Vitality and another in November called Create Freedom Through Clear Boundaries, hosted by Marty Forrest. I'll let you know more as those dates come closer. So each week I highlight a member of my network. This week it's Jeff Porchawa. Jeff is a curator of connections. He loves to connect great people and watch them do what they do best. Jeff created the Global Wellness HQ podcast to share wellness resources with his community. If you want to reach out to him, his website is www.globalwellnesshq.com. And each week I'm highlighting a book that I'm reading. And last week I started a five book series called The Law of One, which is a channel book by Ra. If you're open-minded and wanna learn about the history of earth and humans and many historical places, read on. This week I'm up to book two and below is a summary of the most interesting and enlightening parts of the book from my perspective. Look, whatever resonates, take, whatever doesn't, throw it out. So here's a few quotes. The use of crystals include the use of healing for power and even for the development of life forms. We shall give you a metaphysical, metaphysical description of planets upon which individual mind, body, spirit complexes have been or, or have been or shall be experienced. We take one known as Venus. The planetary sphere was one of rapid evolution. It is our native earth and the rapidity of the progress of mind, body, spirit complexes or upon its surface was due to harmonious interaction. Upon the entity known to you as Mars, this entity was stopped in mid third density due to lack of hospitable conditions upon the surface. This planet shall be undergo undergoing healing for some of your space time millennia. 
The planet known as Saturn has a great affinity for infinite intelligence, and thus it has been dwelled upon in its magnetic fields of time space by those who wish to protect its system. Energy transfers only take place in the fourth, fifth, and sixth densities. These are still of what you would call a polarized nature. Question. As we go through our daily life, there are many things which we can experience. We can look at these experiences occurring by chance or by a conscious design of our own. I was wondering if there was a behind the scenes programming of catalysts to create the necessary experiences for, for more rapid growth in the case of some entities. Does this happen? Answer, the incarnating entity which has become conscious of the incarnative process and thus programs its own experience may choose the amount of catalyst or the number of lessons which it will undertake to experience and to learn from one incarnation. This does not mean that all is predestined, but rather that there are invisible guidelines shaping events which will function according to this programming. Thus, if one opportunity is missed, another will appear until the student of life experiences, ex of the life experience grasps that a lesson is being offered and undertakes to learn it. A scene may be observed in a grocery store. The entity ahead of self may be without sufficient funds. One entity may then take this opportunity to steal. Another may take this opportunity to feel itself a failure. Another may unconcernedly remove the least necessary items, pay for what it can and go about its business. The one behind the self observing may feel compassion, may feel insult because of standing next to a poverty, poverty stricken person, may feel generosity or indifference. What is the general overall effect of TV on our society? Answer, the sum effect of this gadget is that of distraction and sleep. Question, what will be the time of transition of this planet from third to fourth density? Answer, this is hard to estimate. However, the third density climate of planetary consciousness is retarding the process. At this particular nexus, the possibility slash probability vortexes in indicate somewhere between 100 and 700 year of your years as a transition period. This cannot be accurate due to the volatility of your peoples at the space time. Would a perfectly balanced entity feel any emotional response in being attacked by the other self? Answer, yes, the response is love. Let us give the example of the man who sees all the poker hands. He knows, he then knows the game and it's child's play to gamble for it is no risk. The other hands are known. The possibilities are known and the hand will be played correctly, but with no interest. Let us re-examine this metaphor and multiply it into the longest poker game you can imagine, a lifetime. The cards are love, dislike, limitation, happiness, pleasure, etc. They are dealt and redealt and redealt. You may, during this incarnation, begin, and we stress begin to know your own cards. You may begin to find the love within you. May, you may begin to balance your pleasure your limitations, happiness, etc. However, your only ind indication of other selves cards is to look into their eyes. This game can only be won by those who lose their cards in the melting influence of love, can only be won by those who lay their pleasures, limitations, their all upon the table, face up and say inwardly, all, all of your players, all of you players, each other self, whatever your hand, I love you. This is the game to know, to accept, to forgive, to balance, and to open the self in love. So thanks for watching. I believe in you.